Article 28, shall the Town of Hampton raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 to engage the services of a professional financial advisor engineer to study and report back to the Board of Selectmen to advise the Board and the Town on whether a sewer enterprise fund should be created that would remove sewer costs and expenses from the annual budget as a tax-supported sewer system as opposed to one that is supported by billing based upon volume of input into the system. The report should include drafts of potential billing rates in accordance with statutes, the impact, if any, on the difference between billing for sewer changes versus maintaining said system on the property tax base, including the costs of bond payments for sewers by either method of payment, with said sum of $20,000 to come from the unassigned fund balance. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31, 2020, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 5-3. to three. Finance Department has reported no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 28? Moved by Mr. Griffin. Seconded by Ms. Barnes. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard? Um, Mr. Griffin, then Ms. Barnes. Yes, I'd like to uh, also say that I'm in support of this, um, uh, doing this study. I think the study will uh, give an opportunity for us to find out exactly what this would mean for the taxpayers. With the way that uh, taxes are changing and what you can deduct from your uh, tax returns, this is something that we really need to have a good, firm answer that everybody understands. It sounds good at the very beginning, but there's a lot of issues that might not be advantageous. So we really have to take a good look and let make sure that taxpayers make the right decision. Thank you, Ms. Griffin. Ms. Barnes? Yes, I would like to agree with Selectman Griffin, and I also like to add that what this source study will do is determine whether or not something can fit Hampton and all of its taxpayers, all the taxpayers being taken into consideration. Part of the Wright Pierce report was that the town should be putting approximately 800000 to, I believe it was $1.4, $1.5 million a side a year in, you know, maintenance for the wastewater treatment facility as it's an ongoing thing that needs to be maintained ongoing. So this could potentially be a way that we could set up a fund to start setting money aside for that so that it does not have to come out of the tax rate every year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Ms. Woolsey? Like to be heard? I confess to being a little puzzled here. First of all, we let a brewery operate for four years without putting in an industrial surcharge fee, and they certainly have a lot more to contribute to the treatment plant than the average uh, homeowner. And a lot of the property owners in Hampton who do not have sewer are going to be, what, taxed because of this, or are you going to get everybody's water bill? I, we don't understand how it works, so I'm willing to keep an open mind till I figure out how this, how this goes down. But I'm a little bit puzzled, and I certainly want a few more specifics on here. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. Mr. Jacobs, would you like to be heard on Article 28? Um, as Public Works Director, it's not really... Um, I don't really have a... a, a opinion one way or the other, and, and should certainly not a personal opinion of how we pay for it. But I am all in favor of the study. Uh, and the study won't literally change anything unless the study's acted on and, and or the recommendations of the study are acted on. W one of the um, peculiar issues of being in Hampton is where all the wastewater operations are funded through the tax base, um, there's no enterprise account to let's say if a pump were to burn out and it costs a hundred thousand there's no enterprise fund like what other communities have to dip into to get that pump immediately replaced um, it isn't like it would give me an open checkbook it would would still be under the control of the sewer commissioners i trust who are the board of selectmen but it would give us a different way uh, a little more flexibility on how we pay for sewer operations I also think that um, it would level the playing field. Um, people keep talking about one particular generator of waste. Um, the BOD problem, or the BOD load, uh, our upper capacity is 6,100 pounds. We operate around 5,600 pounds. 
it wasn't just generated by one user. There's a number of generators in town um, that, if the sewer study were done and were properly implemented, would pay a proportional amount for, for that load that they generate and send on to the community. Um, certainly, single-family residential homes, condos, um, they don't generate that kind of BOD load. So they would not be a, a impact, directly impacted by any uh, rewrite other than the fact that taxes could possibly go down. But that can only be determined if we invest the time and the money to study it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Ms. Jones. You see the Budget Committee voted five to three to support this. Once again, I was among the three. Once again, I am duty bound to explain to you why. You just heard the DBW director say he wasn't going to give it a personal opinion because it's not really his purview to deal with the financial aspects of how it's funded. But it sure sounded like he had an opinion there, didn't it? The bottom line here is that this is a study, a study about how to implement a sewer fund, an enterprise sewer fund. No other financing vehicle is to be considered, just an enterprise sewer fund vehicle. Now, what that does is it actually takes the revenues that are generated off of the budget, as the article states, which means the budget could go down, but I, mean, I don't have a whole lot of hope that it's going to go down. <laughs> Even if it does, what's still going to be the result is you're going to get a separate bill from the enterprise sewer fund people. They're going to send you a separate bill. No doubt they're going to probably try to figure out how much you are using based on how much you're consuming water. It doesn't matter if you're drinking water in Hampton and peeing in Exeter. That doesn't matter. Your taxes, your property taxes will go down and your federal income taxes will go up. Unless, of course, you're living in McMansion and you're already paying more than $10,000 in property taxes, then it doesn't have any effect on you. But for your average guy in town, you're going to lose your federal tax deduction on this. Right? And what, what the real issue here is we're going to spend $20,000 to fund something, and in my estimation, is politically not going to sell to the public, primarily on the points that I just made. So why waste the money, small amount of money, $20,000? But what you're going to have is a whole lot of political noise from political heaven telling us, all the nuances and, and how we all look so smart because we can speak intelligently on all these fancy nuances and the bottom line is we won't do it anyway. So I still oppose it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 28? Mr. Moderator, I wish to move to restrict. Re we well, let me, oh. let, me, let me get out of 28. Okay, sorry. Um, seeing none, Article 28 will appear on the ballot as printed.